morning everyone and welcome back to my channel I wanted to make another traveling video but it has been cloudy and raining all week here in Lisbon so instead of that I'm going to make a cooking vlog I'm not a professional chef obviously but I love cooking at home I love trying new recipes that I found online especially after I moved to Portugal I love spending my time in the kitchen so I thought why I didn't make a vlog about it because it has been raining a lot lately, I think it will be good to enjoy a warm, sweet apple pie with hot milk tea in this chilly day. Mm. Yummy! When I moved here last winter, I visited this pastry shop near my home and they had a really good apple pie. Hmm. They stopped making it after a while though. I have been hoping for a quite a while now that they would start selling it again. So instead of waiting, I decided to make my own apple pie. Ah, so exciting! This is something I've been wanting to do for so long. In fact, this is one of my goals this year. It is to bake a pie or a cake. I have no idea what I'm doing, so wish me luck! If you have any tips or tricks on baking, please let me know on the comment section below. I'll do my best. My very first try on making pie. Ooh, I'm so excited! So I did my research, I watched some videos on YouTube of how to make an apple pie and I found this recipe which looks so simple and easy to try. I bought the tools and the ingredients at the supermarket nearby. I couldn't find anything that I need though, so I will need to compromise by using whatever I have at home. For the tools, according to the recipe, I will need pastry mat. Pastry mat is a mat that people use to work their dough on, but I couldn't find it at the supermarket. So today I'm going to use the baking paper instead. And then a rolling pin, foot scale, hand glove to protect my hand from the heat from the oven. And then a saucepan, pie plate or baking dish, a bowl and a spoon for ice water and then there are also knife, a pastry brush, a whisk, a pillar. I don't know what do you call this. This is a measurement spoon <laughs> and then a cake surfer. For the ingredients, I will need sugar. Actually, I need to use white sugar, but I only have the brown sugar. So we will see if it's gonna work or not. And then unsalted butter, all-purpose flour, ground smidge apples, sea salt, uh, cinnamon powder, and egg. Oh, and also I will need food processor to make the pie crust and uh, obviously we need oven all right everything is ready so let's start our experiment today i'm really done with the waiting and the craving <sighs> i cannot wait to eat the pie okay now let's put aside everything so i can use my working space So first, I need to make the pie crust. So let's see the first step. Measure flour correctly, then in a food processor, pulse together flour, sugar, and salt. To make the pie crust, I'll need two and a half cups of flour. Half tablespoon of sugar. And half teaspoon of sea salt. Next step is to add cold half pound of diced unsalted butter and pulse until coarse crumbs and some pea-sized pieces form. Okay, let's cut the butter now. So this is 250 grams of butter here you go you can see the measurement here and half pound is around 226 grams so it means i will need almost the whole pack Next, add 7 
tablespoons of ice water and fold just until moist clumps or small balls of dough form. I don't know, it doesn't look like in the video. We will see. It says in the recipe, pinch a piece of dough between your fingers and if it sticks together, it's done. <laughs> Why is it wet? It doesn't look like in the video. In the video, it looks like dry. Well, they stick together. Okay, that's a good sign. Now I need to transfer the dough to a clean work surface. In this case, is my baking paper. <gasps> it's already sticky. How am I going to do this? Gather together into a bowl. It should not be smooth, the recipe says. Then I need to divide the dough in half, flatten it into two discs, and cover them with plastic warp. Wow, my first time dough! Ha. Now I need to refrigerate this dough for an hour before I can use it. Okay, let's hope this works. Finger cross. While waiting for the dough, I will make the filling. I will need to make the sauce first before cutting the apples. Let's do it! In the saucepan, I need to melt 8 tablespoons of unsalted butter over medium heat. After the butter melted, add 3 tablespoons of flour. Then I need to simmer it for 1 minute and whisk it constantly. Next, I need to add 1 fourth cup of water, 1 cup of sugar and bring the sauce to boil. Then, reduce the heat. I need to whisk it frequently until I get a light caramel sauce consistency, then set it aside. <sighs> Sit. Good boy, stay. Have you to be on the sugar too? Is here. Dog, what are you doing? You waiting for the apple pie? Yeah. It's not ready, dog. How was the sauce? Is it good? Is the sauce good? It's good, isn't it? <laughs> Next, it's time to cut the apples. So, according to the recipe, I will need six to seven apples but because my pie plate is shallow or it's shallower than the one in recipe i think this time i will only use five apples instead all right let's peel them okay after peeling them i need to remove the cores and cut them into thin slices Cutting is done, the apples are ready. And then next, I need to add the cinnamon powder. I need to add one and a half teaspoons of it and toss it to combine. Pour the sauce over the apples and stir to coat them evenly. is done mm. looks so yummy it's time to roll the dough the first dough is for the bottom pie crust i need to roll it out to a 14 inch diameter circle or it depends on how big your pie plate is then i need to wrap it around my rolling pin oh my god i think it's too thin somehow <laughs> and transfer the dough to the pie plate. It's time to add the filling. Hmm, look at that. All right, I think it's uh, even enough now. Ta-da! All was done. Time to roll out the second dough for the top side of the pie. I need to make it round and then cut it into 10 even thickness strips. The next step is to arrange them in a woven lattice pattern over the top of the pie. Beautiful. 
the hell? You want so much? <laughs> yeah, it's confusing. Mm -hmm. um, oh, this one is sweet. This one out. This one out. This one out. That's it. Oh, hey. <gasps> what do you want? Wait dog, wait, it's gonna be ready. After that, I need to tuck the excess dough into a pan and flute the edges so the final look will look good. Okay, let me try. So put one finger and then like that. Put one finger like that. Put one finger and then like that. Okay. Not hard. Wow, look at this. Ooh, so pretty! Although this part, I don't know what happened to my dough, but it's kind of like too soft, I think, and it breaks easily. If anyone of you know what caused this, please let me know in the comment below. The last step before we bake the pie is to brush the top with egg mixture. The egg mixture is made by beating together one egg and one tablespoon of water. This will add beautiful color to your pie while it's baking. All right, let's bake this beauty. Wow, look at that. I did it, guys. Okay, let's cut this masterpiece. <laughs> By the way, I needed to wait for an hour before cutting it for the apple juices to thicken up. So when I cut it, it doesn't slide all over the place. What are you doing? You cut me. What's the cut? <laughs> The first slice is for Matt. Mm, look at the sauce. Oh, I almost forgot to make the tea. of hot milk tea and one slice of pie for me is ready test time wow wow it smells awesome okay let's dig in first bite mmm mmm it's so delicious oh my god i can't believe it i succeeded my first try mmm mmm I cannot stop eating this. Mm, 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 mm. I'm not lying, guys. This is so good. Now I know I don't need to go to the pastry shop to eat apple pie. I can make it myself at home. Awesome. Now I can eat this sweet apple pie for the next couple of days. If Matt doesn't eat it secretly in the middle of the night. <laughs> the result is surprisingly good. I thought it would fail, but it wasn't. I'm so happy. So, what do you think guys? Should I bake more pies or cakes at home? Do you guys like my new cooking time series? Let me know of what you think in the comment section below. Hmm, I think next I will make cinnamon rolls. Since I haven't eaten it for almost a year now, yeah, I think it's gonna be a good idea for the next cooking series. Alright then, that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.